Welcome to the OSRS Podcast. I am Mitt Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rakes as always. He has transformed into a cat. <laughs> and hello, it's Rice Cup. And today we have Mr. Flompo, one of our legendary uh, repeated... Uh, basically, at this point, he's kind of like, uh, you know, our, our another uh, host at this point. You know, he's the one that initiated yep. this topic, which is, of course, the freaking summer summit of this year. Crazy stuff. They, they just gave out so many reveals uh but we're gonna yeah. try to simplify uh the you know topic a bit because there's just too much but we're gonna cover mainly leaks five project scenarios the wildy boss updates uh the volumor stuff which includes a bunch of things but mainly the boss is there and we'll briefly cover some of the other stuff they mentioned towards the end and yeah let's begin beautiful so, dude off the bat because we we've just and just watched the whole thing, which was like two hours long. How are you guys feeling about it? Like, what's your what's your overall like sentiment towards this summer? Dude, summer? My vibes are high, bro. Just <laughs> the quality of how they made the announcements and the animations and the setup. I, I don't even need to see updates. I was just hyped to see the amount of time and money they put into the summer summit. I mean, the updates and everything is great, but just I was blown away. I was just blown away. Okay, okay. 100%. Yeah, it was high production value. That's what we that's what we want to see. It's it's just nice to see the direction they're going with it. They're they're hiring more and more and more people. I know the uh, big hot topic of the raise of membership prices. That's where it's going. So, it's nice <laughs> to see. That's that's nice to see for sure. What about you, Ray? All right. I'll be honest. I used to watch their live streams like every week religiously. The first few years and i got you know dropped off because i felt like they knew what they were doing and and whatever so i trusted them and it's been a long time so the first time this is my first time watching their live stream um and yeah the summer summit was crazy like the the production value like mint, mint mentioned is definitely a lot higher than like the first two years that they used to do their weekly stuff um most yeah. i mean besides hitting all the crazy notes on like the new updates and stuff i honestly don't know a lot of the new mods right but honestly some of the new mods that uh presented their stuff i was pretty impressed so it seemed like the new mods really are passionate you know for the for the game and they they do know where they want to take it to the next level so uh on the on the new staff members i guess i'm pretty impressed too yeah right yeah. you said it was mod genghis was that his name yeah or... i believe so that was One the smiley guy man yeah that was the guy with, like the fro uh every he, we, we were watching mod. it on discord and we were like this guy is so charismatic and he knows <laughs> what he's talking about and i don't know yeah. it just you just nailed it man yeah no he was so really shout out to mod genghis he was very technical name. with um all the you know the client related stuff and when he spoke i was like damn okay i'm excited for this like official client i'm gonna switch over as soon as it feels good to play it, you know, like that HD just looks so good, you know, for example. Yeah. yeah, dude, I found that I just got more and more into it as time went on. Like, I, from the start to the finish, I, I, dude, I was even hyped for leagues, man. You know what I mean? And like, I'm not a huge leagues fan. Exactly. And I was like, this sounds good. Bro, so I, everyone was waiting for leagues, dude. That's what we were waiting for, bro. How are you not hyped about leagues, man? I almost gave up. <laughs> it's not my game mode, bro. I was like, what's this last announcement going to be? And they said leagues. And I was like, to begin with, I was like, oh. And then I listened to what they had to say. And I was like, you know what? That actually sounds pretty fucking good. It's in October. And we're going to be grinding that. It's yeah. in October? I thought it was no November. 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 Okay, I was about to say, I'm not ready in October, baby. My body's not ready. Please, November. Oh, shit. All right, well, that's that's even better then. <laughs> yeah. They usually do it in November because they know a lot of people have time off over Christmas holidays. Um, so it gives them an opportunity to really get a lot of players coming back. Um, if you're in yeah. university or something like that, you you get you finish your exams, you get three weeks. I guess just a smart time to do it for sure. Yeah. So, so this is the fifth league. Have we had four leagues concurrently every year since five years ago? Or there has been like years off? I don't remember. Years off. Years there was off. a big gap. There was a big okay. gap. Because of point. COVID. During COVID, there was a break or something. But it looks like they're trying to keep the schedule. So maybe even next year we'll have a league six and people can actually put on the calendar and get excited about it, which is the best way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. It was crazy. Like, do you remember when when they first released deadman mode and we had a new deadman mode like every three months 
It's, <laughs> at one point, it was insane. We were having like three or four a year. Like, no joke. A lot of people I, I, died, you know? <laughs> Just too I, much I, Mountain Dew, too much I, dude, processed I can't even food. Imagine that. I can't even imagine that being the case now, but I think they learned their lesson because it was just too much. I think the way that they're releasing leagues now is great because it, it leaves enough like anticipation and people get excited for the announcement, you know? Like I think they've nailed it. For sure. They're they're getting in their groove where maybe it becomes I don't want to use the word esport, but more like an event, right? Everyone knows leagues now. It's become an actual event. Remember it was just like uh a uh, current or whatever where we stuck on an island it wasn't an event back then people were just having fun now it's a full-fledged <laughs> event uh they're going to be building it from the ground up where they're going to be using past leagues as a as a building tool instead of taking away what they've uh made they're going to be building on top of that so it seems like they really want to progress this even further than uh where they're heading now but we got <sighs> What's different about this leagues compared to last leagues, though? Other than they're building on top of last leagues. Dude, I mean, the random boss thing they're talking about, that gets me hype. And also mm -hmm. the fact they said you can get all three of the Mega Rares from any one of the raids. Like, yeah. that means that instead of being like, oh, I need a Tomb of and Shadow because I've gone Mage Roll, you can say, fuck that, TOA sucks, I'm gonna go Tob, and I'm gonna get a Shadow there. And I like that, because it just means that there's way more variety, and from a content creative like standpoint, this sounds fucking cool. Yeah, I think, think the they, towns... they slipped oh, it in. Sorry, brother. They slipped it in at the end where they said, actually, you can get all three Mega Rares from all three raids. Because right away, I was like, man, if they're locking us out of these regions, I'm just going to pick the three raids again because that's what I want to do. I want to get the, like, the Mega Rares. And they slip it in at the end, like not even part of the reveal where they're like, yeah, no, well, we're going to make it. So like that changes that I actually changes so much to how you pick your regions because now you could pick like fremenic and wilderness and then yeah. tob but you can get a tebow and a shadow from all of that like you can get a tebow shadow and scythe so this uh, genuinely makes it so much more exciting for me like that was yeah, the thing that's like okay i want to play this league and that on top of the fact they said about this like random monster thingamabobby yeah I'm not too, what did they say the new monster would drop it would new be something items. that never came to the game before like it's a whole new they didn't even hint at it they just said hey maybe the the magic staff you get from raids 3 won't be the strongest mage weapon yeah. you know they it's just kind of like hinted at it. yeah. yeah so i'm wondering helpful. like in the towns outside of raids like the the regions those will have the monsters you farm that's what i'm guessing they're gonna do like any town that doesn't have like that in or uh keep calling them towns any region that you're locked into that doesn't have the raids might probably have one of those overpowered items is what i'm guessing we don't know too so much but every every region uh i took notes so i kind of remember some of the stuff this is what i remember uh every region will have a new boss they will i it, i believe they said they're updating the current bosses too to have updated mechanics so Enhanced they showed the, they showed the dagonoth kings in fremi not just oh. being the current dagonoth kings they'll be like upgraded dagonoth kings oh yeah and maybe Maybe that's what the new end game boss is, and maybe it drops like these new rings that are even more powerful than the current ones, or maybe it drops like new. I think it'll be like tier ninety or tier ninety nine gear and items and weapons that it, they've now made it so you can get the raids weapons like uh, from all three raids. So I think it's because they're not best in slot anymore at all. Like you want to pick your region and then have a new item come from that new region where it's so powerful mm. that the raids items don't even matter. You could just go like. From Evar Lamore and I don't know, Mauritania, you... if you wanted. Yes. I'm not a raider, bro. This is so nice. I don't want to learn raids. I am like yeah. the weird guy. So this is perfect. I also told myself I'd never lock Fremenic again because of Muspa. <laughs> but now I might have to just suck it up because the. What if it's an upgraded Venator bow that just hits everything in the area? Like, that'd be crazy. Oh, man, I know. I just, Muspa made me have a mental breakdown last league. And, and people tell me it's not <laughs> even a hard what? boss. <laughs> I hated it, bro. And I killed it fast. I had the explosive relic, so I was able to skip the end part. But, oh, my God, I hated that shit. I don't know, man. It was just a mental scar. But no one has the same, uh, uh, no one feels the same way. So I'm alone on this. Yeah, it's hey, like, it's can... like. Go it's for like it, a mid-tier boss, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I hated it so much, dude. It's, it's not like that it was hard, hard, I just hated it. It's yeah. like the DMV, you know? Anyone can do it. It's just, do you want to? Not really. That's why I didn't pick that region, you know? 
So yeah. what is did you, this? Did you get your? Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What, so they they also added uh, this idea. They they didn't expand on it much. It's called like combat mastery. So I don't know what yeah. that really means. But yeah, I've got it. I got it pulled up in the in the blog. So it was combat masteries of the new core of your combat power system complements the relic system. Yeah, it's um, a new. Whole you no system. longer will have combat relics. Combat relics are gone. Your relics will just be like eternal jeweler or like yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, um, stuff. Yeah. Banker's note. If anyone was a banker's note, Andy, that that'd be good. Um, <laughs> but this will be. They said we'll share more on combat mastery and what to expect as we get closer to kickoff. So maybe you don't need to pick one like combat style this time. Like you pick your I mage think, ranger relic. Or I think whoever it's a skill tree. Probably because I think it's EOC. They're just they don't no, want to call I, it EOC. I, I think it's a skill tree <laughs> because that's something they've never really done properly. Because like you know the relics is kind of like a very simplified version of a skill tree, right? Yeah. If that makes sense. So like you're not necessarily logged in, but like once you kind of pick one certain mm -hmm. path and you go really deep in there, you can't really go that deep on another path, right? In terms of the combat stuff, right? Oh, yeah, man, I'm just wonder... thinking like Skyrim, dude, the skill tree where you get your archers, kind of, yeah. you so sneak, you do 50% yeah, yeah. more damage. And oh, they can man, change that'd be very every cool. league too as well, right? The skill tree cool. stuff could be like different every league, so. That'd be really cool. Wait, so you're talking about like it might allow you to justify, not justify, um, modify what what you have. So like you can take a skill tree for like a, a melee heavy setup, then you can change it to like a range heavy setup. And you can have like a little support on like the magic side or something with like the, yeah. the skills. Yeah. Dude, that sounds know? fucking sick, man. Like you it, might it, be able it, to it, pick. We're just, we're just guessing, but that would be that'd be bad. The, the previous relics would be like all in one. Like if you pick melee, it would be faster attack speed, more yeah. damage, more accuracy, but you tankier. Were in, like though, that's you... four different things. Yeah. Now it might be like, well, you can pick the faster attack speed for melee, but then later down the tree, you can also pick that for mage. You can also pick it for range, but then maybe you're leaving the accuracy and damage on the table and you're picking something yeah, else. So, so it's, yeah, it might be a choice in that yeah, aspect. So I'm thinking it's kind of like, all right, you know, this this uh, tree can go really, really far down. But the problem is if you commit all the way to one line, right, then maybe yeah. you have nothing on the, you know, the mage or the range stuff, right? We can do that or you could do hybrid you do you know like kind of go midway all the way right and you become kind of like a jack of all trades so that's kind of what i'm imagining with the whole mastery thing right yeah really that could be cool standard stuff i think in a lot of you know rpgs and stuff i wonder uh, are they gonna make it because currently um you get to a certain amount of leagues points and you get a relic i wonder for this they'd be like it's just combat level when you hit 30 combat you pick another one when you hit 40 combat you pick another one they keep the leagues points to your other relics and your regions and mm, task numbers nah, i think regions. it's gonna like, be point based and the reason why is because the multipliers are too crazy you'll literally reach 100 combat in like no time so yeah. i don't think it would progressionally mm -hmm. make too much sense you know because you, people you like day one five hours in yeah just mm -hmm. i think it, i think it's gonna still be heavily based on your league points just because yeah. the, they don't they don't yeah. really talk about it but in every league it's always been a core of this you know the foundation of how you progress in leagues so that's different mm -hmm. from the main game right is how you yeah. how many tasks you do how quickly you can do the tasks to unlock your tiers and all that you know and, and of course points for cosmetics guys yeah. do you guys have a main criticism from last leagues because if i remember correctly i think we all kind of felt like you just snowballed too fast Am I right in thinking that? Um, I, personally, that was leaks three, the shadow relics. That was. It was leaks three. Okay. For me, it was. That one was almost too. It was almost too overpowered. It wasn't even. Yeah. It didn't feel like a leaks because there was no real restriction. Honestly. The no. biggest thing is if we get so powerful in this in leagues. You do, but now if there's bosses that match that, because Zuck is no longer a challenge in leagues. People are getting one KC like never done it before. They go in. They don't even die. Um, yeah. So, so now it's like if there is a boss that makes it so it's it's actually the hardest boss ever, and you have to tailor your relics to be able to beat it. Like that's that's awesome. Like yeah, that's that's exactly where I wanted to go. I think my biggest gripe with leagues, and this is personal opinion, would be you only get three regions, for example. And in the past, it's like yeah, but I want to do the content in the other regions. I don't care about the rewards. I just want to do the content in other re regions because playing as much as i would during a league i'm done after like three or four days and then you have 
so many days where you're just stuck to a small part of the map. I, yeah. I wonder if they'll let us pick more regions now. Like, even if they go from three to five or from five to seven, whatever the number ends I up being. I think I have a, a midway proposal because because I, I do agree, but, like, not not fully, right? I do, I do understand that, let's say, leagues, usually it's, like, two months, right? For the most part, most players, they're only going to play a few weeks, maybe a month, yep. right? And, like, for the most part, we, we stopped playing because we've done what we wanted. But I do have this idea I've talked about before where may maybe in like the last two weeks, they, they just say, screw it, guys. You can just check out all the regions on that build. Yes. Because at best. that point, it doesn't even matter anymore, you know? Like, mm -hmm. they, like they can make it so that those last two weeks don't even count towards your the high score stuff. So the points you get don't, doesn't matter, you know? So that way, there's no way That'd to cheese cool. it. It's just for people yeah. that's like, oh, I wanted to do this, but I, you know, because I picked this, I, I'm kind of locked out. But maybe, you know, maybe in the last two weeks, they let you do it. Let you do let me you unlock a new i want yeah. to unlock a new area but it costs a bond so then this is best of both worlds they get money and we get fun <laughs> so no, that's not no yeah, they want us they I want us it. right now they want us to buy bonds to create another account to then try a different like yeah, couple of yeah. regions yeah they want see, us to do it on multiple accounts i see no harm in like letting the last week or something just be free for all you know in terms of yeah. the regions and, and make it not competable for high score mm -hmm. because barely anybody's yeah, playing leagues points. Right, barely anybody plays leagues in the last week anyway so so like yeah. might as well you know give it a you'll give it like a nice like kick you know towards the end right to, they like, should send probably it just do that when they see the numbers drop in like it might be a yeah. good incentive to get people to come back in yeah yo was that minty's mum that just popped yeah, up can you get her on quick <laughs> yeah. you have questions for her but, but yeah <laughs> personally but like Ask personally you no me, you're not saying hi to my mom right yeah. you <laughs> stay away from my mom all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, but yeah, like, like we it. all agree the last week or two, like that's when leak dies out. You only get like yeah. maybe 10% of the, the people that actively went in, you know? So, yeah. Mm, is there anything totally else agree. about the, uh, this new, yeah, is there any other changes or difference? I think that's just, that would be it. Right? Yeah. Cause they, they announced it at the very, very end of the summit. We're talking about it at the start of this podcast. Cause obviously, you know, leaks is always such a big festivity, but yeah, they really yeah. didn't explain too much yet i'm guessing in like uh next month they're really gonna start hammering out the details you know with the blog yeah. and, and whatnot they tease that blog hard so there's gonna be a lot more coming soon especially mm. if it's in november i mean shoot we only got a month bro so. yeah 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 it's coming soon so it, probably mid just november. to uh i'll mm. just kind of expand i've got the the blog that they posted right away so it's it'll be called the echo bosses um so that's the title of the league will be the echo league or whatever they're calling it um so they're in unleashing enhanced bosses enhanced one boss. in each area um they'll f feel familiar at first glance but each boss will have slightly different mechanics keeping you on your toes um not only do they have new moves they have new loot as well stuff you've never seen in old school before some of these items may serve similar purposes to ones you've seen before, like the strong ranged weapon we're adding to the Calphite Queen's drop table. Completes the best in slot gear found in other regions. So, yeah, basically they're just... It might just be like Calphite Queen has a second layer, a, a harder version, and that boss just drops other stuff. Hopefully it's engaging enough. It's not, like, super easy, where it's just with all the relics you're just walking in and stomping it should it. be a super fun leaks because there's so many yeah. unknowns and that's what makes i think uh leagues very fun especially the first league you know so many mm -hmm. new things that we never bothered to do when you know they added a bunch of things to zaya and then we were forced yeah. to kind of play it right and we had to learn where to get a rune skim so i think it's kind of a similar idea you know the more like discoveries right they they kind of lay it out for us to discover more fun is going to be so i'm excited for this league for sure although i was hoping for twisted league 2 though you know because they set it up yeah. so nice to have like expanded zaya <laughs> right and like oh, yeah. but it's okay I, this league is sounding really cool it's like a randomizer except it's not just random items it's like new items too right new things that's that does worry me though because in previous leagues every once in a while we'd have a relic that's way better than others yeah. And they just don't test it. And now it's a meta and everyone who picked that me uh, that relic or that region is now fucked, right? So yeah. what happens when these crazy weapons, one is just way better than everything else, which is bound to happen, right? I'm worried that the like the echo bosses, you, you 
pick your region, you go into it, and maybe your boss just sucks. It doesn't drop yeah. a good thing, or or the mechanics are either too hard for you or just boring. Like, how many different mechanics are there? Like, there's they'll are they coming up with new mechanics that we've never seen before for each of these bosses? <laughs> are they funny. all going to be the same? Are they going to be balanced? Like, it's a lot of questions for sure. I trust them um, to to make those right decisions, but it would suck if it's just Cal Fight Queen that also has like lightning on the ground or like cal fight queen that throws out bombs that you have to run away from or cal fight queen that has an acid attack like you've got it araxor and in chambers um stuff like that that would be that i don't know how else they could get around that but um... yeah i i feel like it probably will be that stuff though because this yeah. is for a temporary game mode right so i doubt they're gonna come up with like brand new mechanics or maybe they will and maybe we'll just be surprised but... so I imagine, I imagine it would be like that. I imagine for Jagex now, it's just a lot of it for them is a playground, you know, for them to exercise yes. their creativity. I, I think they will, you know, obviously uh, due to the fact that it's coming out soon, right, within the months, they probably can't just completely make everything new, right? So they might have to just kind of like take certain styles, uh, certain mechanics, like you said, and import it to other things right, and slightly change it up. But I also think that, you know, it's time for them to be creative. So they're definitely going to create some new mechanics on top. So I feel like oh. maybe every new boss will get like uh, something you, you're familiar with somewhere else. Reskinned or re, you know, re-damaged, changed, scaled. And then you'll see some new mechanics too as well. Like a mix of both. Right, given Dude, their time. They're, they're definitely they going to test. They're going to test the new sailing pathing mechanic with one of these bosses. I guarantee it. Dude, imagine if they did like a mechanic where it's like, okay, so you get lightning from chambers, you get the fucking dark portals from Fasoni's Nightmare, and maybe there's like a wave mechanic where you have to be <laughs> on certain tiles. Can you imagine? That would actually be so cool. Yeah. I'd like that. It would yeah. be I do want that. I'm worried they're going to be like too easy with all the relics uh, stacking up. I, I feel like inevitably, not even a challenge. I feel like inevitably that's what does happen when you, you know, progress through the, you know, the tiers and stuff, right? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't. I feel like that's kind of like the purpose. At least by the end, you should be just so overpowered that like, time's up anyways. Let's let you know. Yeah. Let's call it a day. But um, yeah, this should be. I some think it, it adds a it adds a layer of excitement to the early game at least, where you're watching your favorite streamers and you're seeing mm -hmm. like, oh, they picked like Varlamore. What's the end game boss there? What is it gonna drop? And then you don't know because maybe the drop rates are like insanely high. That's how it keeps people playing. I don't know. Who knows? It it definitely adds a huge layer of excitement we haven't had with leagues before. Because you already know what's in the like. If you pick chambers, you know that's a Tebow. That's that's a this. That's a that. Like people are going to get it because the drop rates are so heavily increased. Yeah, but, this was yeah, something. Makes this league exciting. Yeah, this was something I you know a lot of people were asking. What are some cool ideas? And like, I told I was thinking like yeah maybe they can just randomize everything. But this this isn't exactly that. But it's close in spirit, you know. Because the yeah. point of me saying that was I you know I told my viewers like it, it's just to make discovery you know exciting right because like no one knows anymore where to get the best yeah. stuff right and and that in in a, in in a sense what this version of leaks will also provide that no one knows where to get the best of stuff like sure you know toa drops a shadow but like you like we've said before we don't know if that's the best magic weapon right mm -hmm. in that league so as as always the meta for anything in runescape is just wait till it's easier <laughs> don't do it on day one so um yeah you'll get a lot the of people sitting out waiting to see what's in the end regions and then they'll pick that region yeah so. leagues though time is ticking so like uh yeah. you know oh, yeah. your decisions on how fast you make it will also matter too so yeah i i wonder how early on into leagues you'll be able to fight these bosses like is it going to be almost instantly that you can kill them or is it like you have to wait until you've unlocked all of your regions first yeah that's yeah, what i i, I feel hope like it's I hope it's hard. I, I hope like it's it, like a day three thing, day uh, four. Yeah, I feel like it will heavily come down to obviously how fast you unlock your relics and the new combat mastery with points. So basically, that's always been like the number one strat in leagues is that um, you optimize how you do your tasks, right? How you do your elite tasks. Because obviously, when you reach certain tiers, you get crazy passives. And like, you know, the, the different tier relics just makes you so much stronger. I guess in this case, the combat masteries will make you so much stronger right it's like exponential so so um yeah whoever just how fast right it just depends on how fast you can really unlock these points so i feel like yeah for you know the super sweaty players right i imagine first day even two days even they'll they'll be there
but not the average player though they're, they're not going to be able to optimize these league tasks they're yeah they didn't yeah. explain too much about the league tasks i wonder how different it'll mm -hmm. be this time i'm excited man there's a lot of like a lot of things we don't know and i think that's a good thing yes i'm looking forward to it mm. my biggest thing that i would love for league's task specifically is tasks like you get in like grandmaster combat achievements where it's like um you know do bloat without standing on another player like imagine you get weird leagues tasks like that where it's like instead of just kill a goblin kill 10 goblins kill 100 goblins for example it would be something weird where you have to do like a certain string of i don't know like all kinds of stuff maybe it's like do a push-up then kill a goblin then bury its bones within 10 seconds it's like that's a super basic one but maybe end game ones is like you're really getting creative with it where it's like kill jad and or like do the entire fight caves and all you had was like a magic short bow and rune arrows nothing else equipped like Bro. something like that like, go crazy with the tasks like just go go nuts with those um that would be the best part for sure yeah lumbridge has tasks. to have lumbridge has to have a goblin boss like this yes. is the best opportunity for <laughs> that yeah that'd be sweet yeah i feel like we already have one. the yeah. the league stuff i think we've well. i think we've covered this yeah right well, Which regions are you guys picking? Wait, what's what region? Immediately, what's one region oh. you're like? I'm picking that for sure. Yeah, Zaya. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Always Zaya. Wilderness. Mm -hmm. What if Zaya and Varlamor are split? What if it's like previous and then? What if that's two different <sighs> right, regions? Valimor, Which one? You, Valimor. You're yeah. taking Varlamor. Okay. Yeah, Valimor. Because I might like pick Valimor too, bro. I yeah. want to experience it, but I don't yeah. want to do the Coliseum. Dude, don't be a coward, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, bro I don't need that shit, man. You're gonna be like you're unkillable, man. I want yeah, to farm the to rock crab it. boss, dude. That's it. I'm just gonna yeah. farm the rock crab boss, bro. Might yeah, be the map. Let's go. That's All right, should we get into yeah. what? Should we get into the the Valimor well, stuff next up now, we got... or is it Project Zenaris? Well, the thing is, Project Zenaris was so hated by literally the live twitch chat when we were watching that i think we should just dive right wait in. was it really was it really oh I my gosh like dude I, I think it was mixed makes me no, I a saw, lot of L's. yeah there was, was i saw so many out. l's dude yeah i personally and i think i'm gonna stand out a little i like the idea because i do like the gary's mod and the Roblox. yeah explain but, what it uh, is yeah what it is people yeah, what is project zarnerous so you can uh, uh, Go for it. Would you like? Okay. Uh, so we believe you're going to be able to rent a server, but they're going to be letting people have their own servers where they can customize whatever you want, or at least the bare minimum, probably just like levels, XP rates, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, and they did a great skit with Jimmy framed soup. It was like 12 minutes long. I loved what? it. It was hilarious. Uh, Shut up. Yeah. It, I, they didn't really tell you how much it's going to cost. Or thousand dollars. Yeah, it's probably gonna be Imagine. not super cheap, but hopefully yeah. it's like a bond. I'm a assuming bond you, know, you rent a server. It would be cool though if you could pay in GP. I Dude, think I don't think really they're cool. gonna do you actually think they're gonna charge? Like do yes. you genuinely think that? Right? I, so, I yeah. think I, like I think they... you get like a three day temporary, like you get a trial and then it's three days, like you and can't then do here's... anything in three days though. Well, they uh, hired a whole team for Project Zarnus, so yeah, yeah, yeah. their yeah, this, money this, output this... is already Sorry. pretty deep. And also the, the, the server is, costs, too. I'm, I'm assuming I get, it's increased. I do, get, I do understand that, but I think that they're probably looking at it from a perspective of this could increase our player base and get more members in the game. So, like, I, I, for the people that are trying to be creative and, like, actually host some sort of, like, <clears throat> RuneScape server for the public... I felt like if they were to like charge an extortion amount of money or whatever, I think it would be very counterproductive. Like no, surely they want people to just do this, make the best mm -hmm. stuff they can, and then you know attract more people to the game. I feel like that I would, would probably love be their stance, if they right? don't charge think, money for this. But I, I think, almost I think it should be. Gonna charge I think it should be per like if like you'd buy a package almost where it's like your server for one player private just you and you make your own game mode maybe it's for a youtube series you do that and it's like one bond a month or if you want to have a server where 10 people can play on then it's like three bonds a month and then if you want to have 100 then it's like a lot so that way the person owning that server can charge their friends to like yeah let's split and rent a server because i'm sure they have to upkeep like the servers somehow and if there's one person on a server maybe it's easier than others that might be completely off. Maybe it, it doesn't matter, yeah. but 
Yeah, if maybe it goes based. Buy. Like, if you want a server of two thousand people, then they're probably going to say, "Yeah, it's a thousand bucks a month. Make <laughs> everyone pay you a dollar." Like that would no, that would just I, make sense. I think what they will do. I think like you said, I for the first part of what you said, I think is correct. I think that yeah. if you have like ten under a hundred people, let's say. I think you'll have to pay in bonds, but then after, once you maybe get past the 100 player mark, they might be like, okay, we're going to make you <clears throat> like a, an official sort of partner server where you no longer have to run those costs because, you know, your server's proven to actually be, you know, good and people are playing it. And, you know, I feel like that's more likely. All right, actually, let me ask you this question then. So this is not a, a novel thing, like in, in, the, in terms of the gaming scene, right? This is novel for RuneScape, of course, right? So how do the other games do it, right? How do they do it, right? I saw someone say the the Robloxification of RuneScape, <laughs> and I was like thinking, okay, that's that that kind of is kind of true, right? So how do those other games do it, right? Like Minecraft, they let you just open servers, right? Like kind of just free of charge, like how yeah. does that? Yeah, work? but you host a server from Minecraft, so it's a little bit different. Whereas mm, you yeah. rent the server from others so they can play better. You know, like, that's why you always have people leaving their computer on when you're hosting a Minecraft server. It's uh, yeah. it's probably not feasible for RuneScape, but you never know. What, what does it cost to own a Minecraft server then? I don't think you can ever no. own it then, right? Uh, I think you can get bigger servers, but I swear you could do it for free. I know you can oh, buy hosted servers. One of my viewers did it for me. I would have a beautiful little plot of land, and then I'd come back to just be dicks all over it. But we had like a three month Minecraft server. Uh, then he stopped paying. And, you know, I, I don't go to pay that so shit. So but... when you pay for it, is it official though? Like through the official like Minecraft, uh, you know, yeah, company, right? I, I don't, I, I think Microsoft, so. Like who else would you pay? I'm okay, working. Okay. So I Googled it. it's like an official it. thing. All right. So, yeah. I Googled okay. it. We got, we got mm, some things. Okay. There's the number one spot. It was a sponsored as the top one. So take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. It says like, um, first month discount. And then for, for three, three euros a month, you can have. A server that has two people that can play on it and you get a gigabyte of ram or you double <laughs> that people. you can have four people and two gigabytes of ram <laughs> so it's like that's the monopoly. questions that we don't know for old school oh, is okay, like okay, okay, okay. what does this entail are they hosting it are we hosting it is there a third party that's hosting it are you paying per player are you paying per like oh. what if it's like features <laughs> what oh, if there's what oh do? we're gone that's it he's <laughs> a solo podcast go for it no what if there's like what if you pay per feature like what if they say this nah. plan lets you change Bro, 10 I... things can you if imagine they do this this is just self cannibalism why the f why would they even bother like that's it's... why there were so many l's in the chat immediately the thing, the thing is is that at the moment Actual private servers exist because those private server owners actually make money because believe it or not, people are silly enough to buy DP items, whatever, on these temporary servers that could disappear at any moment. So like the incentive I'm assuming that Jagex aren't gonna turn around and be like, yo, Rakesy, your server's awesome. There's a thousand pounds. They're not gonna be paying people to make these servers. Like, I very much doubt that. So if they can't be charging people <clears throat> extortionate amounts, i I hope that it's going to cost you at least one member's account, so you won't be able to go on the servers unless you're members. I think that's absolutely, oh, absolutely. fair. This is definitely and not then, a free-to-play thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then if, you're, if you're somebody who's, like, actually making the server and hosting it, maybe it costs, like, up to 10 bonds to get it to, like, its max, max capacity or something like that. Because I, I you've got to look at it, it's right? Simple, Jagex, you think about it. Jagex have created an entire new team in their, like, it's a whole new department for this, and it is very much an experimental uh, it's department. kind of a risky if, proposition that they're doing, you know? Dude, well, put it this way, the people that are working on this and are in that team, if this goes to shit, and it's not a success, those people are about to lose their jobs, because they've literally been hired for that one and only purpose, so it's in their best interest to make this good, mm -hmm. and to try to get this to be a success, right? And how would Jagex measure that success? I would assume that they're either approach it from the, okay, we're going to charge people an extortionate amount to be able to make these servers, which is Flumpool's fault, or <laughs> no, maybe they'll turn around. Happen. I don't think it will, but I'm worried. I, I do see the middle ground here, and I don't know if you guys uh, want me to pitch in right now, but whatever. I mean, or I'll just finish what I'm saying. Yeah. Or they're going to measure it by eff effectively what the player base numbers go up by. Right, yeah. so it's like we sit at what I don't know. I saw a picture the other day of 160,000 players online. If these servers come out and that number doubles, I think they'll probably be pretty satisfied with that result. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So I, I guess it just kind of comes down to what they're, what are they trying to achieve by this? Are they just All trying right. to get more think... membership, or are they trying to find a new revenue stream? So I think I think this is might be how it works, right? Because Jagex is they're not a fan of like at least for old school trying to change the existing pay payment methods, right? It's either you you know you you buy with bonds or you pay directly in cash for membership, right? I feel like the process is still going to be the same. I feel like to appease the people to give it a try, you can probably just make your own servers for free as long as you're members, right? Like mm -hmm. let's say you know you're already playing RuneScape, you're members. I feel like you, sh you you're probably going to be able to just run the server without a additional charge. I think the only additional charge is going to start happening when uh you you know invite your friends to it right because then at that point it's it's like well now it's just not about you anymore right you're trying to like run something quite big and that probably you know might require more capacity or whatever so so maybe the bonds and like the membership fees will start uh you know getting added up at that point right if that makes sense because yeah. because i you know there's gotta be a way <laughs> For them to encourage people to try it out for free, right? Oh, you get yes. what I'm it's saying? Gonna, I, I think it that, will, they said there'll be an open beta. Mm -hmm. It's gonna start off free, and then maybe eventually they'll start charging down the line. But for well, for it to I have any like... chance of success, mm -hmm. I feel like it does need to be very easily accessible. Because yeah, otherwise, yeah. And, they're and gonna shoot themselves say... in the foot. And yeah. that's why I say what I say. And that's but the thing is, is that you can't just kind of like, okay, guys, we're gonna start making you pay more, you know, later on because I I don't think. That's gonna be well received. So I, I think they I need. I mean, they've a done good... that with membership. So I feel like they, they probably yeah, yeah, would yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, but membership is something right. that's always right. been a thing, yeah. though, right? And they've always changed it after so many years. But this is a little different, though, right? Because, because, because uh, the server you're running, it's not just like, oh, I'm playing it. Sometimes I can invite five people into it, you know? Right. So I feel like they can't just be like changing it later I on, think... if that makes sense. <clears throat> I, I think feel like what they'll they kind do. Of... Yeah. I feel if, like if they need server... a rate. Right off the bat, is what I'm saying. Yeah. That makes I, sense. I think that if your server has, like, relative success, grows a community and so forth, and it hits, like, a certain number milestone, I mm. think that they will probably allow you to become almost, like I said, like a partner of these servers or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then for those people that just want to, you know, mess around with some friends on a server, run around in full drag and my party hats or whatever, you know, it's like those people might have to pay a few bombs to be able to do that. But for the, the actual servers which are putting in effort and they're trying to grow a community, I, I feel like it would be so counterproductive to charge those people a fortune to do that because it's literally in Jagex's best interest for that to happen. But, mm. you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, maybe one day we'll get one of the... Um, one of the devs that are working on these yeah. servers to come on and they can tell us all about it because this is the That'd first we've heard of it. Yeah, I think, I think it's really great. exciting. I think there's two elements though, right? Like I said, just to clarify, right? Like uh, at least there should be a way. I feel like there's got to be a free component to it, no matter what. No matter what. I think what. free is one you person. can join other people's servers if you're a member. I think that part is free. I think okay. making that your own be. server would not be free, mm. whether it's you're buying a premium membership or like this, maybe it's a perk for the new premium that they're putting out or anything like that. Like mm. there's no way it can be free. They're going to have 150,000 servers. That's not like technically possible. There's no way they can host that many servers. People will use them for three hours. Then they'll just never go back okay, to it. So how about then this, they have right? to get deleted? Like, yeah. How about this? Um, like I, I was thinking, like I said, I feel like if you're members, you should just be able to make your own solo thing. But if you were to try to expand it, then you have to pay more, if that makes sense. Mm. Right? Yeah. So uh, the blog is here. I'll read a couple of little things out of it. Um, it never, it, it's in, it's not written that you can create your own server, <laughs> which is weird. Community servers uh, will take the old school RuneScape you know and tweak it into different elements to create a brand new gameplay experience. Players will be able to search and filter through lists of available servers and jump in whenever they like. Ultimately, Project Xanaris is a place where anyone can create and show and share a new old school experience or play in someone else's. Okay, so it does kind of say it there that I just wish they explicitly said, like, you could create your own server and host it for friends. I'm worried, like, especially the beta, they'll probably have, like, a hundred different servers to choose from that they're already, like, pre-made. Like, you can't create your own. And you're just kind of testing them out. Whereas once it's fully released, then yeah, at that point you could create your own 
server. Um, but it uh, it references you'll be able to change things like do you want NPCs to deal 5x damage? Do you want everyone to be a UIM or turn on PvP everywhere? Um, lots of little <laughs> things. They're going to have, I'm picturing an interface. They did mention you won't be able to code. You're not going to be able to access the backend code. You'll be probably an interface with a lot of things in game where you're then customizing how you want. Like it's probably a blanket item of all NPCs deal 5x damage and then all drop rates are increased 5x and then all XP is, you know, like um, it's going to be a blanket things they, like that. I don't think you'd be able to they did customize say, it for anyone. They did say on the live stream that they are thinking about making advanced options for people that know how to like uh, mm -hmm. code or something. So I think there is... I think there will um, be some big community servers that have like thousands of players on them and then for your own little private one yeah it'll be smaller maybe you only have a, a set amount of things you can change that are yeah yeah they, they, not they, as great can you, can you, you imagine if one of these servers like becomes more popular than the main game but so i actually was, consider that i was gonna say that if we we're gonna reference roblox a lot one of actually a couple of the roblox servers are actually bigger than the game itself i don't know if they're still as big but they made like a news a show that I was watching where they were interviewing somebody who owned their own Roblox server because it was so big. And then on top of that, they were charging it's people possible. to play it, which, okay. you know, I don't know if Jag is going to allow you to charge people and then you no. pocket the money. That would be no. crazy. But I Roblox, that, here, that very much problems. But in Roblox yeah. you can do that. So, um, mm. but yeah, there'll it be, could there's going to be so many like underground servers where you pay your, like your clan hosts one, you pay to be part of it. It's going to happen behind the scenes. Real world trading will be rampant. I'm worried about that. And I'm definitely worried that the actual, like, if we're at 160K players concurrently, that'll go down to 100K and then 60K will move over to the other one. And it's just everything well, kind of gets The thing is down. they would just add the player count together like they always do. Yeah, but I mean, like, the actual <laughs> servers. It's nice, oh. like, you go to the GE and it's like, there's a lot of people there. Or like, it, that's part of part of the experience of, of old school i guess if you're an iron man it doesn't uh, yeah, matter honestly, either way but i i don't really i don't really have this fear that like all of a sudden half the player base is gonna like go away or something because yeah. because at the end of the day it's not like it's only the same 100 and whatever k people playing right it's always in in groups of people like cycling through different games seasonally right for like for example i i, I think Honestly, from from just talking, all, you know, to a bunch of different people that play this game, uh, most of them are seasonal players. They do not play RuneScape like the whole year. They usually be like, "All right, well, it's been like a year. I, I got like summer vacation. I'm gonna smash it out." You know, and that's kind. Of, mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure that's how most people play. I'm sure a lot of players are, you know, they're mm -hmm. die hard. They play every day, but but a lot of players are seasonal players, and that and I think that's the reason why leagues and stuff is so fun. And so popular is because a lot of those guys come right back in just for that just for those few weeks and months and and i think that's what these um community servers could do for a lot of the existing players is that okay maybe instead of playing like i don't know a completely different game when they're on break inevitably right because they they don't like to play every day they, they might just play the seasonal like what's new and hip right in terms of creative modes right instead mm -hmm. and that will just keep kind of like the players still within the game right just you know they're still taking their needed break from the actual game but they, they get they get to mess around with some you know private server ish you know community yeah, yeah. things right i that's how i see it and it could really draw in also a completely new um you know player base yeah. because like i feel like the modding scene community is like crazy you know like imagine some of the people that love playing minecraft because they get to customize and do whatever they want check out runescape because they're like oh i heard there's like some crazy custom servers that you can do in this game right and it's yeah. kind of like minecraft or but whatever. who who's so. gonna come and play a custom server like their friends let's say hey try runescape play this custom server everything's the same it's just sped up five times yeah exactly so like everyone's gonna say yeah well, okay i'll play that it's faster or people exactly. who played ages ago and they don't want to build a new account you'd say oh just play this one it's 5x speed who was ever gonna join the old game then at that but point? i would i would make the argument to that that those players wouldn't be the ones joining the main game. Yeah, exactly. But That's what I'm saying. This yeah. is a way to get those idiots to sign up for membership, and yes. it's money in the pocket, bro. You I think it's and, money and, in the pocket. And, and, but... and conversely, some of these guys would be like, "Well, <laughs> I love playing this custom server, but like, 
I'm, I'm so addicted to RuneScape now, but I never play the real game. I kind of want to see what that's like. You know, I feel like conversely, mm. there might be some people yeah. from that side that might be like, I want to try the real thing. You know, I think I've kind of yeah. taken my first step here. You know what? It's three times speed here, but maybe I can handle, a, you know, regular speed or whatever. Right. Or I don't like, know. Like, a harder like, boss, you know, I think Jagex so. are probably going to look at it from a point of view, which is purely based on regardless of whether there's 160,000 people that are playing the main game or 160,000 people that are spread between the main game and the private servers, they're going to base it on, okay, if that shit goes down and it is like counterproductive to the game, I imagine they'll probably scrap the whole project. But obviously they're hoping that those numbers are going to go up. And mm -hmm. I imagine that it probably will, depending on how much freedom people have with creating their own servers. I think that it could be a really big success and yeah. the people that you speak about like so for example if i made a server and i uploaded it and you know i put it out there onto my youtube for all of my all my viewers to see and i imagine um i would say the majority of the people who watch my videos probably don't play the game i think that's probably the same for most runescape yeah. content creators there's a lot of people that just watch content but do not play but if i uploaded a server that was like really appealing to my audience and i was like guys come and join etc like that's just new faces coming back to the game and I imagine that that's kind of a perspective that Jagex have taken on it, among other things. Mm -hmm. um, and, and don't forget, like, if it's counterproductive for the game overall, and there's less people that subscribe because of this, then Jagex are probably just going to can the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think personally... I wonder... Go ahead, go ahead. I wonder if the, the, the best solution to all of it is, like, servers have an expiration date. Um... So you're lo you're making it so people know, like, yeah, like I just want to play and have fun. Let me do this crazy server. It's basically just privately hosted leagues. You go play the league, and then that server expires. Well, you can play on another one, another custom one. But if if everyone's everyone's just going to do like m like way higher drop rates, way higher XP, way higher everything, people will just get to the end game. They'll play. They'll they'll burn through, and then they'll be. I guess ready to go to the back to the main game, or they quit, or whatever. Or they else, play but... a different seasonal, right? And, but those are different players, yeah. right? I feel like. Do you mean like three months and then the servers like reset mm. or something like that? I don't know. I feel like there doesn't need to be an arbitrary expiration date. To be honest, I just kind of look at it as like uh, you know, like I think Minecraft is the perfect example, right? Like I don't really play a lot, but I've definitely observed kind of like how it you know like its success, right? And I think a big part of it is because you people can make their own shit right in their own mm -hmm. servers and invite friends to do whatever right and and the thing is it's not like the uh, it's not like the base game is dead or anything right i i i i, I think people still legit play the actual game itself right i think it's just because it started that way rather than 12 years into old school you just now say we're like dividing the community or uh, i know they're yeah, not technically I just, I just i could see i i get what you're saying about it dividing the community but i i like i said i genuinely don't think a, like i feel like there's just so many players that do not play this game on a daily basis you know they just see mm -hmm. any video game runescape included as as a you know a seasonal thing right so for just having pri or having community servers for them it's just an, another seasonal slot cycle that they can fit in right like they weren't going to play the main game anyways because they're just burnt right and they need time away so they could either play a completely different game or they could just play you know uh, a custom server and and still contribute to kind of like the the growth of you know jagex right as the company and whatnot so that's how i see it's, it it is an interesting and point I, and look at about Minecraft, splitting yeah. about so. splitting the community and it's been a point that people have discussed for years because people there's people to this day that are like bring back 2007 servers like where god war dungeons the only content that's bossing etc and people are like no because it's going to split the community and so on and so forth but I mean, I don't know, dude, there's a hundred and however many thousand concurrent players on RuneScape right now that play the permanent game mode. I, I just see it as a very unlikely thing for those people that have been so committed to the game mode, like for years and years to just be like, oh, I can go and play on Jimmy's five times XP fashionscape mm -hmm. server. I'm fucking giving up my max UIM main account. It's just like, I don't think that would happen, but I it think... could, I guess. Um, I think from Jagex's perspective, like, all they really are going to care about is their bottom line, which is, are these people paying for membership? Are there more people paying for membership? And that's going to be the determining factor. But I would also say, if there are, you know, if it did split the community, 
which I don't think it will, by the way. I think that it's more likely to just bring new faces back or yeah. into the game. But think... if it did, I don't think it would be that damaging to the game, seeing as how the game is basically Iron Man mode nowadays anyways. Like, I'm sure there would be certain areas of the game that would suck, like maybe PvP, because someone's made a badass PvP server, and now when Mitmad Koa goes out into the wildy, there's nobody to fight because everyone's well, on Mint's the server. Gonna that go to that could server. Happen. No, Mint's going to yeah. go well, to there that you server, go. bro, and clap ass. Exactly. <laughs> well, whatever's best is going to win, okay. right? Like, that's just it, how it, it is. Just, huh. Yeah, it does completely change the game. Like, if I die on a hardcore iron man on the main game and i go to make a new one i'm not going to make it on the regular server i'm going to make it on a, my own private server where i tailor my rules to what i want to do like 100 percent. i don't want to grind another hardcore at one x again. i think that's fine because most yeah players i think the number of players will hardcore. be the same it's just yeah. over time less and less players will be on the actual current main servers thus kind of devaluing your achievements devaluing all this stuff like it's just going to feel like going from a hot tub into a cold pool if you go from the community servers back to the main game i think you're um, right to an extent right and and yeah. so is i guess you know maybe what i say is kind of like contrary to yours but i'm i think i'm also kind of right to an extent right because it's like mm -hmm. the it's you know it's almost it's kind of like the almost the equivalent of of like leagues coming out and then it splits up the community it does it actually does do that right but but like ultimately it's like then it positive, closes right but then it, it closes yeah, and it, makes it does, people go but back I, but i think the community servers though are trendy things in in at the end of the day right like i feel like most of these servers whatever and ends up being made most of them are probably just like for close friends right you're just mm -hmm. kind of like inviting them yeah. over for a nice discord gaming session right to check out your wacky new whatever right <laughs> and then there might be some you know like popular uh public servers but i feel like most of those will predominantly just be you know um trends right they'll they'll yeah. be hyped yeah. for a bit but then they also die down because like leaks 100 because think about it this way right leaks has a uh you know a two month or whatever right and then it expires but the thing is, as we've talked about this throughout, is that most people don't make it to two months in leagues. They get bored, you know, because the game is so easy, right? And and obviously, I feel like most of these servers are going to be designed yeah. for casual players. And like those players, you know, they're never gonna, they were never gonna play RuneScape for long, anyways, right? So they just want to go in there, you know, burn out their dopamine and leave, right? That, and I feel like that's what most of these community servers would end up being. It's just for people that just love blitzing a game and then leaving, right? And then moving I think on, my right? so my main just to kind of summarize, I, I'm I'm always given the negative point of view a bit on things like this. First off, I'm excited for it. It's just going to open up so much. Like YouTube videos, like content creators, it's going to be amazing to see what people are doing with it. I will 100% be playing on some of these community servers. I um, just hope and that and I'm there's... excited to build my own for sure. It's just yeah, yeah. you. I just worry the long term health of the current mm. server goes down it'll probably raise player base like it will and it'll make them more money and everything like that it'll be a net positive there are just a couple of things that i of course i mentioned i, I worry about yeah yeah I think what, that's fair thing. but yeah go ahead you i don't think that there is going to be a single server that is anywhere near as popular as the main game or maybe there's like one or well, two maybe you can't hold that many people <laughs> it's only yeah. what, unless they got like a 50k server which not yeah, not even that. Fun. I think that what like Re said is true is like a lot of these servers are going to be hype for like a period of time, and then it's just going to be like okay, on to the next one, mm -hmm. and it it just be that that kind of deal. But I don't think there's going to be one that is just like the holy grail. Everybody wants to be on it. It's like trying to get into World Three O Two back in the day. I just don't see that happening personally. But I think that people will use the servers almost for I think possibly like post burnout like players nowadays that are just gonna quit the game because they're burnt and go and play another game or just quit whatever like maybe they'll go onto these servers you know yeah but I, I don't think it's gonna be that big yeah and I think that people that are making servers to play on their own I mean I don't think they were gonna stick around on the main game personally yeah they like, weren't they were never the players that play every day religiously like me you know because like a lot of my friends I know a lot of friends that are gamers, right? And and most of them, almost all of them, do not play games like I do, like we do, where, where we go on on a daily to play the same game. They just hop games. They go through whatever's trendy, get on Discord, and just play together, right? And then, like, they play that game maybe for a week, uh, maybe if lucky, they'll play for a month, but but that's it. Never, never more than that. They'll just move on to another game, right? 
And that's what community servers are going to hit those kind of players, which is a, a large group of players, right? It's like the heavy Steam players that, or like the, you know, social migrant players, I guess. They, they'll hit those guys hard. Because like, like, I'm sure they've heard about RuneScape, right? But I think the grind aspect to it is uh, off-putting and you can't do social stuff together fast normally, right? It's like you guys yeah. gotta like level up and shit. But if you if you make your you know custom servers of like, hey yo, uh, you know me, I play RuneScape, but I, I dude, there's this private server thing that I can customize mm -hmm. so everybody can start off doing group stuff that we want to do. You don't have to like do all this grinding. And then people are like, I I'm in, you know. And then you guys play as a group, and then you just do your thing, right? So here's that's, a, that's a weird. It. Here's a thought that I had had previously of a new game mode. I talked about uh, this on my live stream yesterday with people. Uh, for all six of them and what it was was i was like what if they add they just announce a new game mode and people are like oh yeah they'll do like bronze man mode they'll do this. i'm like no no they're gonna have main main mode which is your own customized main account and there's a dollar sign in front of your name to show that this guy like bought his achievements or it's like real world you can like oh i want 99 strength well i'll just pay a bond and get it and it's like it's part of the main servers and then you play on your own rules that was like a way of meshing community servers with this if you could sign up a new account and you say i want 5x xp rates and the only change is that there's a dollar sign in front of your name in the main game people would do it 100 percent. but um yeah I, that was a funny idea that i had that it's weird that they obviously kept expanding on it to be community servers at that point yeah so cool. to, to give you like, an, just to give you like a, a personal take on these servers, right? So this is my perspective on it, is that it, obviously the only way that I won't do this is if they are charging the earth to be able to make one of these, but yeah. I do plan to make a server. What I want to do is I want to create PVP mini games. I want to make a fuckload of them and I want them to become super popular not because I plan to monetize it in any way, because I don't think Jagex will ever allow that. But I would like to create my own thing and be like, hey, this is popular. Maybe this could be in the main game, right? That's ultimately what I want because it being on a private server, in my opinion, is kind of worthless. Mm -hmm. But if it allows people to see my creation and they get to enjoy that creation and there's a chance that maybe Jagex would be like, holy shit, Rexy server's got a thousand players on it maybe they'll look at it and be like damn like copy and paste this is proven to be popular yeah let's fucking take this shit cut rixie yep. out of it but then i get to play it on the main game like that's how mm. i'm looking at this and rebalanced of course you know rebalanced yeah yeah it's like I've beta wanted... worlds but free people can make their own rules and they can add it to the game if they really i've really like it. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah i hope i that's pray like that what they Leeds was you know or i is... hope and pray that they let us have full customizability over things like I don't want it to just be a menu and it's like what do you want jad to hit with his max hit what do you want his drop table to be i want it to be where you could maybe set it up so it's like this server only runs sunday evenings from five till nine and it's a brand new server every week with 25x experience it's like you're just giving them like a weekly dead man mode server that's only for three hours like that would I, be fun yeah I it'd think... be cool if you could have an among us yeah. server on runescape yeah, for yeah, example thinking yeah. about those mini games yeah yeah, I'm something like that. Friends. If you could customize everything with it, then that's when it'll be truly unlocked to be and so, amazing. And so that's why they have a dedicated team for this because yeah. they probably see it the same way you see it, is that eventually it'll get so profitable and worthwhile and successful that that these guys will be able to work on these servers for years and years. And they'll get to that point where you can like literally do everything you just said is my thing. Is what I'm what I'm yeah. kind of seeing the vision, you know? Is yep. is that like we have I'm, a dedicated team? I'm like that implies a lot of things, right? Long term, lots of big, changes and like uh, improvements, I guess, to this kind of stuff. How big is the team? Because if there's a glitch on my server and I need that fixed ASAP, and you're putting a ticket in, you're waiting for them to fix the specific bug on your server, or like a player yeah. logs in and he's lost all his progress somehow like yeah. that would you know like stuff like that how do you you oh hey there was a bug on my server can we do a rollback on it they're like no we're too busy we've got three hundred thousand other servers to deal with i don't know yeah that it's a huge it's such a huge thing that's why this release yeah on on this uh summer <laughs> summit was like insane yeah. yeah everyone's like i don't know what to think i'm putting an l in the chat <laughs> So many else. <laughs> oh my gosh. So like many everyone else. panicked. I mean, to, to, I, like, to be fair, the skip was really good. Oh. It I, was. Thought the, I thought the skip was awesome, 
but I also understood what they were saying, and I feel yeah. like the average player would have watched that skit and have had no idea. To be honest yes. with you, it was like the longest way it was possible too long. It was of too explaining long. what it was, <laughs> yeah, and it was, it was great. But I think that like people, I. I I feel like people wouldn't have been invested in it in the beginning unless you were one of us. And we've always yeah. known that Jagex, this has been a proposed idea for a long time. So when they started to do the role playing stuff, I was like, okay, I know exactly what this is. The majority of players didn't get it. So they're probably just watching well, it like, I think what, the reason... are we getting like weird servers or something? Like, yeah, I thought we were getting weird servers, bro. I was watching yeah. that like, bro, I'm not playing Purge. That's too mean. You know, yeah. just lose everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think the main reason is because those group of creators are very, very popular, right? So they probably, uh, their influence, you know, expands beyond the player players, right? The, uh, I'm sure a lot of the people that watch their content are play are, are just YouTubers. I mean, YouTube viewers. Mm -hmm. They do not play RuneScape ever. They just found them one day and found it appealing. And, and like, I guess you want to get people that already know the game, right yeah. that don't play the game to at least try it out first and then these guys are probably closest to the, to the players that i was talking about where you know they just kind of group up together for a new hype thing right and they'll grab, they'll grab think, those guys right if they just formatted it slightly different and before the skit played they say we're going to introduce personal private servers and mm. then play the skit yeah. I, yeah. I actually think it would have gone down better i think if they had like a gta like five car driving down a hill like on the side that we could also watch to keep her attention that would have been even better <laughs> uh, yeah um okay yeah. here's one oh, what was it thinking? Uh, yeah so if this is what they like they have to consider something like this if you have a server the first thing people are doing is they're making a discord server to go along with it and that's a way of like you know yeah. anyway there's so much that goes with it they should do their own version of a discord server so like all in one You've got on the side like of your client or something. It's like a public chat amongst the whole server or like posts and like if they could find a way to do that or partner with Discord and have like an API that sends info to it and stuff like that. You can give people like rewards and stuff like that through Discord, like new roles. Um, I'm thinking of Flutton's idea of a fashionscape server. Well, what's the point? It's on a private server. There's no like way of rewarding people with that. So yeah, you'd have like oh here's like the winner from this week and you have like a list of who won in the past and like all this stuff in a discord server like they'll do that regardless maybe just bring that into runescape like on its own thing part of these servers is having its own like discord built oh, yeah. into they it they can somehow. do that yeah. when the new client stuff you know hits yeah. they can easily yeah, I was, I was that thinking that. yeah Oh, oh, on a side note, though. I'm doing a, I'm doing a shamanism only server. If you guys are interested in joining. <laughs> yeah. So there's the one skill. thing. There's one thing. Uh, it's very uh content creation um topic relating to you know these new community servers. Uh, the thing is, I guess when it comes out, it it can be really easy to fool someone into thinking that what they're watching is actually runes, old school RuneScape. You know, I feel like mm -hmm. they might just need to distinguish. They, they might need to put a heavy emphasis on distinguishing uh you know the game because like let's say you know right now if i make a video uh on old school runescape right the tag is old school runescape but but is it gonna be also old school runescape for people yeah. that are recording something on their you know uh, uh community servers right it would be very misleading so maybe they, but, uh, they need another tag another handle put uh, a dollar sign in front of everyone's name yeah just i don't know stuff. just like community old school runescape or something because uh, i think I, that would be the I, easiest I, I, way stuff. in front of in front of your username on a community server is like a little icon and that way like people who want to show off that they have a thousand collection log slots you know that it's legit because it's like oh, it doesn't have that thing in front well, of your name the i know is, there's you can, you can I, cheat and get around it but yeah, like that's what i'm saying <laughs> Yeah, I think something like that. Otherwise, yeah. they could just make it uh, make community servers like all black and white. Yeah, no, no they, they will absolutely have a different icon next to the name. But I'm just saying yeah. more for like you know, um, let, like let's say like the places where you upload or stream, right? Uh, it, yeah. it would be good if there was some way to distinguish it because because like it's nice that you bring all these people on board, right? But yeah, at the same time, uh, I feel like you know it could really ruin some of the perceived like objectives and values of old school runescape right if like a lot of these new people watching think that this is the old school runescape you know even though it's like yeah. a, a community server and everything's just like 5x or whatever you know well so. if it's like twitch for example uh which you didn't really mention if it's twitch 
Well, would people you would put just that to... under a new category, like instead no, of the old I don't... school Runescape category? Do <sighs> you see? That's yeah. I don't know. That's tough. I'm I'm just thinking people are honest and they just put like you know community servers. I don't know if that ruins any. I I don't know if it ruins anything either though. Like if you don't yeah. say that, like what's the what's the downside of a new player coming in to play? Well, it's just know. at the downsides, like you said, it's just kind of like you're the compare and contrast of you know the perceived uh you know like like culture right of old school runescape like the goals yeah. and like the value of certain items you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. right it, but like that's more from a perspective of like a new person that don't know anything about old school runescape like us player us veterans will be able to distinguish who's streaming what no problem right and don't care but it's just like kind of like the new brand of people that are going to come in though that will some of them might uh you know inevitably just actually go for the f actual runescape right but like they're they just have a hard time i guess perceiving it without you mm -hmm. know being experienced right so i don't know I, I, mean, I don't think it's that big of a problem I, it's just kind of like something i was th thinking about because no, it, it, you know it definitely i'm a content sense. creator so i i think about these like logistical marketing stuff but i don't think it's that big of a deal honestly i don't think it's really it's a, like disclaimer. Yeah, it's a disclaimer yeah it's a big disclaimer on everybody yeah i'm wondering this is a little brainwave i had to create a server They'll be like, yeah, it costs one Bando's chest plate today. And then it's just item syncing from the regular game. Boom. <laughs> solved everything. I like that, actually. I like that <laughs> idea. That's sick. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be the one, biggest If question. you want a server with Honors. 100 people, you're going to have to give us a TiVo. Yeah. Bro, it, like would, that. it would if benefit it, the main game as well as, permanent. you know. It'd be if it's a permanent server, sure. If yeah. it's for a month, though. hell no. Yeah. Well, that's why I was saying there's going to be such a like infrastructure of I'll, either real world trade or just like behind the scenes like shady RSG oh, man. stuff. I feel like, like, like I feel like, like they hey, gonna... want to come on my private server? Then are they gonna like are they gonna make servers password locked? For example, because that's where that opens so. up. If it's just like open servers to anyone, then that's when you're gonna have no issues because anyone could join the server and play it. Here's the other thought is if you join a server, is it going to remember like uh, what levels and stats you got when you log out? There's no way they can do a save game for that many accounts over so many. Like if you are just hopping from server to server, you play this one for an hour, saves your progress, go to another one, saves your progress. Like, are they really going to be able to do that? What if that server gets deleted by the owner? Like stuff like that. There is a lot. I know other games do this and it's fine. It's just, yeah, the logistics. can they do it? Can they do a save game of of a server? Otherwise, I'm not pl I'm not going to dedicate a couple months of my life grinding out on a new server if it's just going to get deleted or lost. And, and that's the thing, you know, we're looking at the time scale from like a RuneScape player perspective, right? But like, I feel like the demographic that it's going to target is mainly people that don't really care too much about personal progression, right? Yeah. They're kind of just there to go for a day and like leave, you know, maybe right or, or week mm -hmm. max, right? I feel like I feel like that's the main appeal of these custom servers yeah. is that yep. it's just meant for like a fun weekend or something with friends and then yeah i don't yeah. think it's there to replace the main game like yeah. in any way shape no. or form so i i don't know i don't yeah, I don't yeah they have to find they got to just strike that balance right like how do you find it so the, the main game still thrives and they can still invest all this money to invest it uh, invest in like increase the I think... player count and and make everything better like they got to make sure that the player count doesn't go down enough where they're losing, you know, they have to fire people and they have to slow down updates and stuff like that. I think, I think they'll know pretty leaks, soon on. Know. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. they'll I think they'll know pretty soon on whether it's gonna be successful or not. But mm -hmm. I think the upside potential here for the game is huge. I think it's massive. Like yeah, I think it's, it's could, mostly safe. I think it's mostly bigger. safe, yeah. For sure. This could be big for everybody, content creator. This could be good for the game. Like Yeah. I might I think main that, the servers dude i might just quit regular old school and just bounce from server to server well, you dude, literally my could. Life. like i might be content creators that do that a hundred percent that's what i'm oh, yeah, saying absolutely. the game, okay. main game will be dead you're gonna log yeah, in there's gonna be three people at the no, ge that's fine. you're, not gonna, you're yeah. not gonna be able to buy like bronze bars on the ge anymore because there's no new players pumping those into the game and stuff like that's it's what i not, worry about dude, it's I'm not, not gonna happen that. it's yeah. not okay. gonna happen and if it if it does then ultimately people have just found something better to do. And bear I'll in mind, in most, years when we find out. most old school RuneScape players have been playing for like 10 years plus now. So, yeah. you know, we've not been able to find that next great thing. 
Yeah. Hence why we're still playing old school RuneScape. I I, I don't know. Yeah. I I think I, it, I got quite think. an optimistic look on it. To be honest, I think it's going to do well. Hundred percent. It will. Yeah. It will for sure. And I keep yeah, I keep sure. wanting to go back to that. Every time I say something negative, remember, like I am excited for this, but. If I was to, so let's say I have a hardcore right now, if I was to die on it, I'm not making a new one on the main game. I'll make my own private server and ex increase the XP rates and stuff and just play it like that. Like, I wouldn't put a new game and a new account into the game. That's why I think like, would you anyone actually would do, do that. that, though. There's so many, like, so many of my friends, it might just be my friend group, they just create a new, like, group Iron Man. They play that for a few months, then they quit. Then they play a new Iron Man, then they play this, and then they'll de-iron it, they'll play it for a bit, they'll make a new hardcore. Like, people, that's what it's, these community servers are great for, is you can now go on those servers and, and play the game in a different way, because people do unofficial Mauritania Locked Iron Man. They do unofficial okay. Varlamore Locked. They do stuff like that. So I don't think people will play those types of accounts on the main game anymore. They'll play them all on community so servers. I, that's an interesting perspective because my look on it was that people that play hardcore Iron Man account kind of just do it for the recognition. Mm. That's how I viewed it. I thought that's it's why they were playing. streamers and content creators. Like yeah. A bit of a flex, you know? Like, hey, look, I can die. But if you're yeah. on your private server and nobody knows you exist, then what's the point <laughs> in your existence? Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's from a content creator perspective, though. Like, we're talking about the more social uh players gamers there's social if gamers you don't record right? it it never happened bro uh, <laughs> yeah. <bro> found <laughs> but i think when people you know we're getting we're getting up there we're now 25 30 year olds like i would i would be i would expect that's the player base's age demographic right now yeah people don't care about that recognition like when you're a, a young player you care about flexing your full gilded that's why you see people wearing full gilded doing slayer tasks and you're like, what the hell are you wearing? Now it's like the end game players are just, I just find joy in just killing time on the game. So I don't know if I would necessarily do that. And like, I'm, I'm picturing all of you content creators being like, here's a new YouTube series I'm making. It's going to be, you know, three to six months long, Mortania locked, 5x XP rates, um, monsters hit five times more damage. So it's going to be super dangerous. Let's see how far we can get. And, and like, that's, that's the, that's that's the beauty of gaming though, right? Is that there are many types of ways that people enjoy playing the game right some people are integral gamers right they kind of like to play the real game and yep. just do everything canon right and then there's I think that's a small amount but yes yeah but like there's you know quite a bit number of players like me that like to do that i like to focus on like kind of like role playing properly right within the confines yep. of the original game but then there's also people that just love doing social gaming that's a, that they don't care about stuff like i do they just want to play the game with friends and try new things all the time right and that's gonna be the demographic ultimately that this you know these servers are gonna hit and i and yeah that's something i feel like old school the normal game doesn't really have that appeal right for these kind of players so and and that's what it's gonna yep. provide so i think there'll be like uh, like you see with other games, you have like the maybe the main ten big servers, community driven, that'll have like mm -hmm. two thousand players always. Like they'll be packed, and then you'll get a couple people making duplicates of those, so you can spread it out. Like you'll have like yeah. ten worlds of. There'll just be like a base community server of just yeah, everything is just faster. That's it. So the casual players can hop in and hop out. Um, but then if you also have other servers where it's like private a couple of players whatever i think that's what it'll end up being is you you go to you look at the list you sort by like player count you're just going to get a lot of people in these top five ten servers and then the rest of them will be just like much uh much smaller private little like projects like people will do projects on a little private server then you'll get those big servers that last a lot longer that have like very simple customized rules it might even be run by Jagex, to be honest. Like yeah, they might yeah. just say, hey, "Here's our here's our base ones. five rules." Like this is a Mauritania locked like server. That's it. <laughs> this is an Iron Man only server. That's it. This one is just five X XP rate. That's it. Nothing else changes. Those will be like run by Jagex, and then you'll get the crazy servers of like you know whatever. Yeah, yeah. like Riggs was saying, just mini games for PvP. Um, there will just be PvP servers where it's just unlimited money, unlimited items in your bank, just like the um, current beta servers and stuff like that. There'll be yeah, some cool so. stuff that comes from it as well, because like, yeah. you know, people be able to run, you know, a fresh server where it's like, okay, you guys have a week to get to the highest combat level or total level, and it's just like, that's it, same game, but you're just limited to to whatever the world provides. I, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna open up a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, we could talk. We could do a whole twenty-hour podcast on it, but we should let's t- like touch on a couple other summer summit things at this point. Um, Sounds good. Yeah, Wildy Boss. What did you think of the uh, the new Wildy Boss? That's a mint Forever. thing. That's a mint thing right there. Yeah, go to mint, well, minty. <laughs> so I was watching it with Rice Cup and, and Flample, and I didn't realize we were gonna have anything to do with the wilderness. So once I saw the the uh, the the wilderness terrain, I started getting excited. <laughs> but for a Please world show. boss, which they compare it to, uh, what what do they call that? Breaches. Um, the yes, breaches. Breaches. And yeah. demo. That's what they compare it to, and it kind of randomly spawns. And the tooth uh, loot is kind of cool. Yeah. I was hoping, the, though, honestly, for something like Revs Multi to come back or something that you can always do all the time because the wilderness is kind of dead. Like, even the multi bosses, I mean, certain time zones are more active, but we need something to do. So, this is outside their, this of their way of trying to get people in, I think, trying to get them to get a taste of some, you know, yeah, multi combat or single combat, a bunch of people around one boss. And I like that. It's going to bring a lot of activity, but it's only going to happen, what, two or three times a day gonna last for a small no, that's, period of time that's a right? good amount bro D- dude did you play double mode man yeah, yeah. no play, not man. not last one no my my dog's balls had to get chopped off and then i had to do something the next day so oh, yeah. oh boy rest well, dude, i'm sorry to hear his that, resticles i'm telling you right now man the breaches are insanely hype for pcares i'm yeah, telling it's you it's fun if you, i was no, setting my alarm not. i was I setting my great. alarm they're great <laughs> And I love this idea coming in. It's just in my mindset, I want something permanent. It's mm. always active, always going down. But uh, disregarding my mindset, just as the world boss view, it's a cool idea. It's a yeah. cool idea, man. I don't know about like the T. There's no real rare drop. You can amplify weapons to make them even disgustingly strong. That's a yeah. cool idea. I'm, you know, I was hoping maybe we'd have a bigger loot table or something incredibly rare. Maybe they could talk about yeah. that but overall a a, yeah I, a little worm <laughs> pet actually people might get mad at you they don't want to go far with this the world. you get a pet but it's only you only get a pet but you can only have it for 15 minutes every like three times a day yeah <laughs> Just so everyone gets there's, it. there's definitely no pet because <laughs> he already the mank already said that this is something that is for pvpers for the most yeah. part they don't want they don't yeah. want to force anybody to do this content they don't want to like if they're not PvPers, if they're not into it, they should make there be yeah. Grandmaster achievements attached to it and a pet and transmogs <laughs> for all yeah. the mega rares. Maybe, maybe they put 15 rewards and 25 log slots for it, like they do with every other new piece of content. It, it, I was, it should drop an item that is the Twisted Bow, the Scythe, and the Tumacan Shadow combined in one. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yes, please, dude. I was on Reddit and uh, there was somebody saying, like, oh, of course the first world boss won't, won't have anything to do with like the real game. And it's like, dude, they just can't win. Yeah. No, because that's the whole point of the world boss in the wild is you don't gotta farm it it's not gonna affect you outside the wilderness but yeah. now there's people saying why doesn't it affect us it's like bro how do yeah. we win with you people dude? you can i don't think you uh, can you win can. with wilderness at all in general no. yeah i think this yeah. this update will more. be fun right? that's they all do, it is they it'll just do... be enjoyable they could do more world bosses in the future if the you know if this one comes oh, out and sure. it's well received then do one outside and then people will be like all right fine something for me you I'd know, love like, like a world boss to just get summoned in like a safe area too, like Varak. Just tear mm-hmm. people up yeah, that are electric AFK, boogaloo, you know, rinse them off the high scores. <laughs> yeah. so. But people need to yeah. give people need to give PvP a try. I feel like yeah. all the L's in the chat for this update were just people that are just like they just have no intention of going to go into the world. The there were L's for this Bro, one. There were the damage L's for this players, one. Man. I, I saw some L's. Bro. Did you? I did. There was a lot of L's. There was a lot of people yeah. saying, "Just vote no." It's PVP, like immediately. Damn, yeah, dude. Honestly, like a lot of those players, Bruh. they're casual players. They just go on Reddit and type memes and shit all day long. You know, they're not like. Yeah. The thing is, they would probably to... love PVP if they actually got into it. That's the sad thing. But mm-hmm. maybe this. The thing is, you could literally go to this world boss probably with like a fucking crystal halley and like a Noit's helm and just risk nothing and probably make money you know yeah. and hopefully people do i, I, hope, I worry I hope that so. i worry that it'll be like just heavily camped by clan remember revs in multi where it's like yeah. hey and then we'll won't kill you and this and that like that'll that'll come back anything in the wilderness like that we get that problem but 
um yeah that's kind well, of that's kind well, of when clans is. camp dead areas in the wild for zero reason you already know they're guaranteed to camp this boss for a reason yeah. you know they're camping mm-hmm. the castle 50 wild near the castle 80 of them will pop up this is our land it's like bro no one's here dude what do yeah. you mean <laughs> so of course they're gonna camp this boss for sure it's gonna be a big move, old battle move all the pkers off the main server and put them on the, the community service problem solved they did we go, say dude. that the boss was going to spawn in singles as well. So yeah. if it spawns in singles, it's a completely different ball game because yeah. like it's not going to be camped down by clans. It'll just be entity hider like roulette every yeah. time. You're just yeah. like, do you I, know I how think... fun rushing is going to be though? Just imagine yeah. like fifty or sixty dudes doing a worm. Which never mind. You know, like it's whatever. And it you just got no one paying attention. You sneak up on somebody, dude. Give them a little uh, whatever Spark Max says. Can't remember. Ninja, Ninja Turtle. Ninja Turtle. Ninja, Ninja Turtle. Someone, dude. Right? Like it's gonna bring no, the Ninja Turtle fun. back. For um, the people, that's what I'm are, excited about. Yeah, the sure. people who are interested in just having fun in the game, this will be fun. Like that's all it is. And you're not, you don't have to do it for six straight hours because it's just gonna be like a couple times. Like, oh, I logged in. There's a thing coming up. Let's go do that, and then I'll log off for yeah, the day. Yeah, just so bring it'll be like good. 30k if you don't, if you don't really lose anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll be going after all the naked people. So if you're not geared, I'm gonna attack you first. He slap your cheeks. <laughs> I think the proposed drops were a bit underwhelming, but they did also say that they were kind of like going to yeah. tweak it, and they yeah, were yeah, open yeah. to. They, they're like, give us feedback. They they explicitly yeah. say, give us. Are the teeth idea... tradable? By the way, like, is that yes. tradable? I, I okay. believe so. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be that... worth a lot then if it's tradable. Well, well, no, no, kind of, but not really in a. So they said you need a thousand to, to upgrade a god sword or a dark bone. They, they like said that each lot. tentacle's worth two thousand revenant effer, so it's tied to the price of revenant yeah. effer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, True. but you get a various amount depending on how much DPS well, you do to the boss. It's not tied to it. That's like the minimum value because the They're value trade, it's like, tied to is uh, probably going to be like upgrading weapons, right? You can't like true. get revenant effer and turn it into the teeth. It's only a one way option. Yeah, yeah. So that's I think true. it will. I think it'll be very expensive. I like to call it the content creator uh, economy, dude. You know how many fucking rich PKers are going to want their hands on these mm-hmm. teeth? Yeah, and it's the only the MVP gets too. 30 or 20 teeth. Let's just say, so three spawn a day, right? Yeah. Per world. That is like yeah. 400 teeth a day coming into the game. It well, says I 220 think it's per world, though. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm I'm six? Oh, is it? I think it'll be on the same time on every world, just like a breach, though. So like it'll be it was, it'll be at like six. So it's not PM. just three in one. So it could be like a bunch of them then, but they just spawn three times a day. But it could be in like a multiple worlds. Yeah, I, yeah. So they said yeah. it was like locked to. I think it was like five worlds where they could spawn. Okay. And it would happen three times a day, and you can get that amulet that they were talking about, which mm-hmm. you can then rub and fill, and it's how you wear it, wear it in the world. <laughs> yeah, you become, you become one with the amulet, bro. Hey, and man. it's got the stats of a glory. Oh. Yeah, the amulet yeah. looked like like ass. I'm not gonna lie, but the malediction and odium ward combination thing, that's fucking cool, man. Dude, that cool reward, I tried right? to buy one right after they said it, and so the odiums were about 2.1 mil before they ever announced anything. And I tried to put an offering for four mil, wouldn't sell. Dude, I tried to buy each piece, they wouldn't sell. This people are buying not this shit. Come in until like next year. Like, did I they know. say when it was coming? No, yeah, they don't they even know if it's, it's coming, coming in the in, game. So they're, it, they're, it's coming soon. It's November 2024, it says. November? Yeah. Oh, really? They're going to do amazing. that They're... at the same time, League? Uh... Yes. Yeah, so I'll pull, up the, uh, I'll pull up the actual the time zone. That's uh, like, amazing. No, but no, League's is late Damn. November. Late November. Yeah. This will be like the first week of November, and then two weeks later, you get League's. How yeah. The um, but they did say right here, yeah. It's going to be at the same time on every server. And it'll probably just be on like ten servers. Like it'll be tagged. Like this server has it or whatever else. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, and, and you'll so be able. You can you'll, it. It's a community you'll event. You'll be able like, to hop worlds. So, so if yeah. you don't want to go to multi, you'll hop to another world and be like, oh, okay, it's a forty fours and singles. Let's go to yeah. that one. Yeah. It'd but they did that, say like, the first thing they said on there is like to pr- to prevent people from world hopping. We want it to be like, you know, you can do it on the world that you like. I don't know. They're gonna have to iron that out. But I think in general, the idea it's great and it'll work and it, the purpose of it is just fun and the the, the rewards are secondary for sure Dude, there's gonna be right. so many noobs the first week bro no one's gonna be looking at their hp bar they're gonna be bringing out all sorts of dumb items maybe their cash stack 
Oh, dude. It's like Christmas. It's going to be awesome. Boys, I can't wait. it's been lovely. I'm unfortunately going to have to go, which means I'm going to ruin the webcam for you guys. No, just leave um, the cat open, man. Leave it here. <laughs> what, I what, can't, bro. I can't leave him in there, man. Oh, wait, oh, take, a screenshot. Take, take a screenshot right now and then put that there. Well, let's just close her off, boys, because yeah. uh, we're going right, to have to watch right. Rice Cup, move it around. And it's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Sorry, you, guys. You can just I turn off the webcam. It's fine. I no, got don't worry. End up from a wedding, so let me. Don't worry. I gotta go somewhere Ooh. too, so we. Chill okay, in. it's fine. It's fine. It works. It didn't change anything. Oh, amazing! Thankfully. All Ooh. right, I'll stay. I'll stay Ooh. in the cool in that yeah, case, yeah. but I've got to go. Love you guys. Okay. Like the All video. Right. Bye bye. Man. Yeah, we 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 cover most of it anyways. We got like. We still want to talk about the woolly stuff, or do you want to? No, we'll be mo was... moving along. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, let, that let was finish. all of it. Let's, uh... That was all of it. I think we got everything okay. with the wilderness. The only, the only right other there. big thing they talked about, and we can t say in thirty seconds, was the enrage boss. So Varlamore Part Three, there's going to be a well, new we, boss. Well, we should that talk about that a bit more, forever. you know, before we wrap up, because like there is, uh, there is that big part of like a bunch of new bosses and stuff that they're. Yeah. Yeah, the new dragon multi boss, enraged boss, uh, the new quest boss, or maybe a yeah, there was that. the new mo um, sand crab boss, AFKable boss. boss <laughs> there was gonna I be. I thought that was a joke, but apparently the new, it's real. The new, <laughs> no, it's legit. The <laughs> new um, ice and fire giant duo boss that doesn't need keys apparently. Oh damn! They finally like filled in all the giants. Uh, is there any yeah, other giants did. after fire? Not um, really, right? No, unless they ask smoke giants and mist giants. That's, and that's it. All the giant bosses are done after that. So yeah. and yeah, it's goblin. catered. So that those yeah. those dual bosses, uh, I guess there's just one boss together, right? They they are meant to be like uh like late mid game, I, I wanna say. Because yeah. like they said, yeah, you're gonna get your fire cape, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're gonna it's kinda like a more standard thing that you're gonna do so that new PVMers, newer PVMers, they'll They'll learn some more advanced stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Leading up to like the main, the main stuff, the main end game things, like I guess gauntlet raids, etc. Yeah. But mm -hmm. the, the sickest one though has got to be the enraged boss, where you can just yeah. continuously kill it and kill it. I could see people and uh, actually, Fompel, you want to just kind of go over what the enraged boss is real quick? Yeah, like yeah, uh, when you kill, it's it's kind of building off of a Raxor that was just released. When you kill it, you either loot the boss or you destroy the boss at a or in this case it'll be do you want to like enrage it or whatever so it'll respawn i'm assuming just like toa they're just going to double its stats um but i hope they they have different levels of like mechanics let's say every five like enrage levels that it goes up they add a new mechanic and then they the stats wanted go up to do this and then with... new mechanic they wanted to do this with a coliseum but they uh backed off of that so so yeah. they're finally trying out their first take on a enraged system so r3 already has yep. uh, a few bosses that can do that uh if i remember talos can do that a raxor in r3 can do that uh but they all have like up to a certain cap though i guess it's not like infinite scaling so i don't i feel like yeah i guess that i feel like i'm not sure if they're gonna have an infinite scaling but it's probably gonna go pretty damn high because in r3 i like, hope you it's can infinite go, you can go really high but they don't need to go like actually infinite, but I hope they go to a point yeah. where it's pretty much infinite. Yeah. Yeah, and and yeah, at um, least till six hour law gets you. You know, I'm sure <laughs> someone's gonna go past that. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know too much about it though, to be honest. Other than that, it's in Volumor Part Three, if I recall. What uh, what would be like a suitable reward from that? They would just you guys... didn't say anything. I'm guessing it's it might nothing. be like a new best in slot magic cape because it's kind of like a it feels like a wave system kind of thing, right? Yeah. maybe they, they should give you like a little there. crown bro if you're like the most enraged kills ever you know you get like a little crown to wear around to flex yeah. and then someone can whoever's, steal it from whoever's you. top yeah whoever's the leader i mean they'll this is like this screams leaderboards and it screams oh, yeah. day one day one people are gonna get scream. sweaty as fuck on oh, i'm absolutely. sure item prices will legitimately go up best in slot just for this yeah, yeah. Of the mechanics. Just, to, just to try to flex you know mm -hmm. this is what they try they wanted to do with the coliseum with the glory system you know but uh, yeah. ultimately, they just capped it at 12 waves. So there's only so much you can really go up to. I um, wanted, so. uh, I, I talked, I might have talked about it on the podcast with you guys. I wanted to have like Barrows 2 in a way where when you loot the Barrows chest, maybe like if you get a Barrows item, you can sacrifice it to then go deeper into the crypts to fight 
all the barrels brothers at once and if you kill them then it adds another one and then if you kill them it adds another one and their their stats go up and this and that like it's not a new idea and people have thought of this for ages of just like unlimited waves it's the same as call of duty playing zombies yeah. for example it just doesn't end they just add more zombies every time mm -hmm. in in this it's hard when you do like multiple bosses or like multiple like, things like say you fight off one barrels brother and then now the next wave is two and then it's three and then four like you're just it doesn't really work in old school so you know tinkering with the stats makes the most sense it would make sense for like every 10 waves or every five waves that it adds a new mechanic so now there's like lightning on the ground and then now the lightning is three ticks instead of four and now it's two ticks instead of three and it's just like just gets harder and harder and harder like that'll be that'll be a lot of a lot of fun to see you're going to get the insane players that um are able to go really high consistently and then you're going to have the players that find a way of cheesing it and glitching it uh on day one and beating the game and yada yada so it seems to be always the way hopefully they can iron out those kinks and really test this more than they do for most bosses before releasing it because i do want it to have like that level of integrity that we would hope from something like this yeah they just gotta fly yeah. wooks in dude yes Easy exactly yeah. anyone that like much. previously like the people who were able to do the level 600 toa just by doing like the tick eating and the uh the bug abuse and swimming around in the zabak room you remember that yeah with recoils that video? and they were recoil yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was like yeah take those people bring them out to the headquarters have them test it for like days see if they can break it and then once they're confident that it's good release it to the public um have it like it, it just makes sense like each wave you go up the drop rate of the big ticket item goes down um it just makes sense to do stuff like that people will finally loot the boss when they think they don't have enough supplies for the next wave um but yeah no it's sweet idea i'm excited for it that's probably out of everything that they've mentioned that might be the most excited i am for any of these uh new summer summit ideas even though i have no no idea what the rewards are no idea any of it yeah. it just seems like something that I could be like, you know what, my my high score is 15. I'm gonna go for 16. Like I'm gonna, okay, today's the day. I'm gonna push for another one. Like let's stream it. Let's get people to watch and stuff like that. New gear comes out. All right, now let's go see if we can get to 17. So yeah, it's gonna be a really really good idea. Um, and yeah, it's coming with Varmore awesome. Part Three. So they've got about a year until this comes out. Or no, they actually the it said spring. Late spring. So, never mind. 2025. Yeah, late late spring. So I was thinking the the summer summit was for a full year, and I remember it was the last it's one. So no, it's just six, six months. months. Yeah. Six yeah, months. it's just six months. So, anyway, that's big. That's coming soon. All things considered, we have a lot of content to get through in oh, the next yeah. six months. Dude, there's so many new bosses. There's also a lot of new quests coming out with all the Valmore stuff as well. Yeah. Um, but we're not gonna talk about those small nah, things. You know? like, who cares about uh, quests? You know, bro. they just like that frog quest, quest apparently. So. Yeah yeah i I've like done it i do I think like varlamore they've done such a good job with like filling out the tiny little things like some of you might know the uh the bone blessed bone shards in varlamore a new prayer training method where like yeah, everything in the nice. region gives you bone shards and now it's a new prayer training they talked about a new fletching training method where you make like blessed logs into blessed bows and then you can sacrifice those to like the bow gods seems when <laughs> when mod ed says it i'm like all right i'm listening but when if someone else says it you're like okay that sounds ridiculous you're like, crazy stuff yeah. like that <laughs> just like the little tiny pieces of the updates is what fleshes it out because if they just did varlamore 3 and then stuck an enraged boss there and that's it it won't feel like a complete piece of content so yeah. they're doing a lot with it they're lore. adding a lot of little lot things of like new slayer dungeon even though it's only level 54 slayer mobs that they're throwing in there that's um, still cool like, that's yeah like just keep doing stuff like that make more dungeons make little agility courses make fletching methods like all this stuff just flesh it out um and then of course they're hiding those red tokens uh easter eggs all over them i don't know if you guys were uh, looking into that on reddit and whatever else but stuff no, like that is cool, just so though. cool yeah that's a cool that's interesting man would you say it's uh so when they created zay i always felt it was really empty you know, but mm -hmm. now now it's kind of nice. Would you say it's going better than Zaya did originally oh, at first? <laughs> Not even close. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, so yeah, much better. Way better. Like I literally Zaya evolved was... so many of my goals awful. on my it was new just account. A <laughs> Zaya was awful. Yeah, yeah it was. Zaya was dude. chore. Like he's literally, I'm logging on to do chores because the to get favor back in the day, oh. there was no quest. There was nothing. It was just get favor. And if you wanted favor in two houses at the same time, okay. it would it would delete your old that favor. That was such a painful fresh. mechanic, man. What <laughs> were so they bad. thinking, bro? It's I so mean, there mean. was just nothing there, too. It literally, Hosinus was Thai farm, the whole thing. 
Imagine right now if you wanted to go on to the Arceus spellbook and summon thralls, you'd have to re-get Arceus favor to then do it. It like oh, it was yeah. yeah they they didn't have the vision fully fleshed out when they uh, launched Zaya, but yeah, but also because they had awesome. like five staff members back then. Yes, so. exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, there are definitely things they couldn't do back then. Yeah, but no, it's. Uh... It's at the point where it's it's looking really promising and really good. And if they said there was, they did say part three is the end, but part four, like if they kept going with that, that's cool. But you can see the potential for them adding more islands and more areas like off of like just go south of the map and adding stuff there. That's why sailing has that potential. We won't get into sailing on this podcast. Let's avoid it at all costs. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even see, the like, summit anyways. They could keep adding more like Varlamores. Like they could do another huge island group for like two years where they just keep adding part one, part two, part three. Okay, let's make a new island, part one, part two, part three. Like that makes sense. Um they've got it they've got this one down very well. So Yeah. I, I love Absolutely. to see the way they uh keep growing and keep uh just pushing forward as a company. You know, I yeah. kind of keep an eye on on a lot of things outside the game, just how they present themselves and and just everything so far every year has just topped itself time and time again and that's a really healthy indication that this game is growing and it's not stopping so exactly yeah. what i want to see man beautiful summer summit man 100 percent. should we uh should we wrap it up though i think we covered yeah absolutely let's, let's wait to uh, let's wait till rakes he's back to get his final thoughts oh yeah <laughs> he said he was said he had to go drive like an hour to pick up a friend and bring his friend home from a wedding and then he'll come back, he so. comes back five hours later and we're still yeah. just chatting dude we could kill time we got like you know the, we didn't talk about the <laughs> afk afk crab boss uh, we could go know. into the hd you know they did they showed some hd stuff there's so much stuff um, honestly we, we could do half an hour on you're the new scaring me brother <laughs> i need to eat food i'm not serious i'm not serious <laughs> no, we, we play our own house <laughs> new player on house customization options okay yeah, like no, luckily adding we covered new... that in the last podcast that was like the house game jam parties? thing so we're, we're good yeah but Ooh. like we we try to summarize the main things from the yes. from this um summit because it was two hours long so there was like yeah. a lot of random stuff that they also mentioned but yeah these were the core ones you know so uh hopefully we really talked about yeah. it enough input it uh you know in terms of how how we see it and from different sides and all that good stuff you know what you're saying yeah man yeah uh, saying shout out thanks to for Aiza. coming on brother you know mm-hmm. thanks shout for out taking to for, he snuck in skibbity riz hoggers <laughs> yeah. no cap and sus he snuck those words in like didn't XPL, no like uh, kieran didn't even measure, blink XPL he just yeah, was, did that too right? yeah, i guess was, i think he's running the twitter page because i saw yeah. when they were doing the merch He's like, wear this merch to the Rizzards Guild. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah. No, all right. I think I'm it's easy to find it, dude. Mr. Flampo, yeah. uh, we, got, you know, we got your socials in the description. Yep. So you want to check out Flampo streams or YouTube, etc. Mm-hmm. It'll be down there. But yeah, thanks for watching, boys. And hopefully we'll see you guys uh, with another cool topic to cover in the future. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.